In this video, we will be showing you how you were able to test if your schizer has excessive back pressure on the case strain using an open case strain coupler. First, put the open case strain coupler on the skid steer and have a jug such as this one ready to catch the oil with a rag around it to prevent the oil from splashing on your skin. Note, the oil will be hot and might be pressurized so take precautions to avoid contact with the oil and wear safety glasses and gloves. Then start and activate the flow on your skid steer. Note, to do a proper test you need to be on high idle with high flow turned on and you must run the hydraulic flow back and forth on disconnected main couplers to dead end the flow to create high pressure in the main lines. A skid steer without excessive back pressure on the case drain would run a bit like this one. A rainbow like flow is normal because there are other items such as the main skid steer pump case drain teed into the case drain line on some skid steers. But if the flow is straight out and pressurized or if the jug is filled much faster than this example then there is definitely a problem in the skid steer. After doing a high pressure AUX test a drive test should also be done if you can do it in a safe manner. Here is how it can be done. Tie a jug of some sort down on the front of the skid steer then take your case drain hose from your attachment or any other half inch or bigger hose and connect the case drain coupler to it and lead the hose into the jug. Make sure to tie the hose as well in case there is high pressure. Do the test at a solid barrier, but be sure that the barrier is strong enough to hold the full force of the skid steer. If you would prefer a different testing method, we also have a video explaining how to test the back pressure with the pressure gauge, which is a more accurate way of testing. 